Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing my January favorites, just where I go over all of the makeup products that I've been loving for the month of January. So if you are interested in seeing all of these amazing products that I think you should try out, then just keep watching. Just kind of looking at my table here, I feel like we kept things to a reasonable amount. I found myself definitely reaching for the same things over and over again this month. So uh, I would definitely say these have really been used and used over again. So I definitely feel like I really genuinely love these products. So we're going to start off with foundation. I've been loving the Bite Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. Now I did do a full review and wear test on this foundation, but that was my first time using it. I've since used it more then, so this is also a little bit of an update. Clearly, it's in this video. I still really enjoy it. Now I do have normal to dry skin, definitely leaning more dry now. In case that helps you, my shade is M55. And I really like this because it really is a true natural skin-like foundation. So you're not going to have completely perfected skin after using this foundation, but it just evens everything out and it makes your skin just look better. I have a lot of acne right now, a lot of scarring going on. My skin is going haywire for whatever reason. And I don't like to look like I'm trying to cover my zits. So this just kind of smooths over them without looking like I caked on too much makeup and in general this is a very light foundation it feels very light on the skin it looks extremely natural on the skin and also I find that it doesn't sink into anything on my skin so it takes a very long time for it to sink into my smile lines and it just sits in the skin beautifully without actually going into the crevices and accentuating those so overall this has just been a really beautiful everyday foundation for me it's not at the super top of my list but it's definitely one of my favorite everyday foundations it is a more like light medium coverage and you can build it up enough to be a medium coverage but you can't build it up past that so for every day I have been loving this foundation we're gonna dig straight into the palettes and those are definitely my Scott Barnes palettes I have been loving every single one of these for different reasons. I already have two videos on these palettes, one where I test them out for the first time and I use this natural eyeshadow palette, and then I use another one where I kind of go over my opinions on them again and I use the Color Bomb eyeshadow palette. So I don't want to go over these too much because I've talked about them plenty on my channel, but I do want to give you a bit of an overview. So the eyeshadow palette that I use today is the Color Bomb again, but as you can see, I did not go crazy with the color. I did get a comment on that video asking if I could do a neutral look using the Color Bomb palette and I have to admit it is pretty difficult to do that just because there are no really neutral matte shades with the exception of this. So I use this as my transition shade even though it's not very transitional and then I used tees on my eyelid and then some of pin up on the inner corner. But anyways I was able to get a pretty neutral look with it. If I'm going for a neutral look I'm not going to reach for this palette it's just not that easy there are some beautiful neutral metallic shades but there aren't neutral matte shades so that makes it difficult to get a full complete neutral look with it but it most definitely is possible and I mean I really do like the look of this this is a gorgeous palette you can create some of the most beautiful textured multi-dimensional colorful looks with this palette and the quality is just phenomenal the shimmers are buttery smooth and there's a lot of dimension so I like that one and in case you are more of a neutral lover he also came out with this natural which this you could create a really killer neutral look with so if the color bomb is not for you you might want to check this one out they're both phenomenal palettes but honestly what really excites me about his collection has to be the face palettes I think they are absolutely incredible very unique so we have the sculpting and contour. This one is the most unique of the bunch. You get really interesting tones in here that are very fun to play with. I just use chiseled today, but every day that I use this, I tend to use different colors, but a very unique palette overall. Then we have the chic cheek palette, of course. Today, I mix the more neutral shades, and you have to be very careful. You'll see how pigmented this one is. These can really be extremely pigmented, so make sure you use a light hand, but there are beautiful tones, beautiful ways to mix and match these. I just think this is such a fun palette. I'm a huge blush lover, so I'm obsessed with this. And then finally, this one I really wasn't interested in purchasing at first, 
but I did purchase it and it's the Illuminator palette and I mean this is a really wonderful highlighting palette. You have to really like that really bright shiny metallic finish on the skin which I normally am not too big of a fan of but I mean I can't deny the formula. Like this is a beautiful formula. It blends right into the skin and honestly half of the reason why I love this palette so much is because I simply just love looking at it. It's just so beautiful metallic and shiny to look at and the shades that you are getting are incredible really really stunning I didn't want to talk about these too much just because I've already feel like I've talked about them so much on my channel so if you are more curious about information on these palettes make sure you check out my previous videos where I really get into the nitty-gritty of everything about these but he did a really phenomenal job with these palettes and I have been really loving them they're super easy to grab for and they have everything that you need and then I have a couple more eyeshadow palettes to share with you because you guys know I'm a huge eyeshadow palette fanatic. They're definitely my favorite part of my makeup collection, my favorite part of my makeup routine. Always have a lot of palettes to talk about. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. A lot of you guys seem to be excited and curious about this palette as well. I do have a full review on this palette. I just think it's really beautiful and very easy to use. Now initially looking at this palette, I actually thought I wasn't even going to purchase it. It just didn't look like anything I needed. I kind of rolled my eyes a little bit because I was like another pinky palette from Charlotte. Now that I've had it in my possession, I just can't stop grabbing for it. Genuinely, I feel like this creates the Charlotte Tilbury eye that you see on social media. The really shiny, metallic, neutrally pink kind of look is what you're going to get with this palette and I am so obsessed with it. So even though to me initially it wasn't the most exciting palette, the quality one phenomenal. And two, it's just so easy to use and so easy to grab for. It's so easy to create an everyday look without even having to think about it. I've brought that. I went away for the past couple of weekends. I've brought this palette with me. It's just so good. The quality is so good. The colors are so good. I definitely, after having this longer, cannot recommend this to you enough. If you like the regular Pillow Talk quad and you want to expand, this is the way to do it. I've really been enjoying it. The last two eyeshadow palettes I kept last because you guys are probably going to get mad at me because you can't get your hands on it anymore and it's a really touchy subject for some of you. I know but I cannot deny that this was such a good release. The Pat McGrath Labs Star Wars Collection palettes are amongst my favorite of the palettes that she's come out with. Just the longer I've had them in my collection, the prettier that I think they are, the more beautiful they become, the more I like to stare at them and lay in my room at night and swatch them. These are stunning. So the one in particular that I'm rather obsessed with the most is Dark Galaxy. These tones are everything to me. You guys know I love purple. I just cannot get enough of this palette. It's honestly just so stunning, so good. I don't want to harp on it too much because you guys are going to yell at me because you can't get them anymore. But if you did get your hands on this, just uh, isn't it amazing? And then the other one, the Dark Galaxy is my favorite, but Galactic Gold is also quite incredible. And I'm not even a Star Wars fan. You guys know I had absolutely no education on the meaning behind this collection whatsoever but I know shadows and these are good shadows so even though I love dark galaxy better galactic gold is also absolutely stunning I love how these colors were more purple based reddish based as well just really the color story so good the quality is so good these are just Okay, sorry, I had to mention it. Don't yell at me. So moving on to lips. I can't say that there was uh, specific products that I reached for every day of the month except for this lip product. And it's fairly new, but for the last week I've been using it every day. And this is the Vizzy Art Moisture Boost Lip Shine in the shade Fleur, <laughs> Fleur, Fleur, Flower. Okay. Anyways, so in my review, I described these as more of a lip oil because they are oil-based, but I definitely think they're almost more of a hybrid between an oil and a gloss, leaning more so towards the oil side of it, but there's a glossy factor to it, mainly having to do with the pigmentation and the finish on the lips. Now, I would definitely recommend you check out my review on this to get the full scoop, but this shade in particular, I have worn to work every day, non-stop. 
my typical makeup routine for work is powder foundation and mascara and a little bit of brow gel and my lips are like really <laughs> crusty and dry in the morning it's winter I sleep with my mouth open it's just my lips look like shriveled up and disgusting <laughs> in the morning and this really brings them back to life not only because it's an oil product so it nourishes my lips but it does have just a little bit of pigmentation to kind of bring some life back to my face the dryness the little white particles of the dry skin like it just it just covers it and, and nourishes them this is a great lip product to use for every day if you're not wearing any makeup really or just mascara because it adds just that little bit of color that you need to kind of make you look like you're a little bit prettier than you are. So this has been great to throw in alone, but also when I do want some more color to my lips or I'm expecting some more longevity, I have been pairing it with this Esum Dual Lip Pencil in the shade Plum. Right now, I am using the lighter pink side as my lip liner. There's also a deeper plum side if you want to get a little bit more dramatic with it, but these two pair beautifully. Muse Beauty Pro actually has these two in a bundle together so you can get the bundle for $30. You save $9. This is a phenomenal lip pencil. Just these two together are such a great bundle. This is like my kind of lip color. So both of these products individually are great. Both of these products together are even better. Been loving this lip product very, very much. Last item, it's actually kind of like tools. I have been using these brushes non-stop. I definitely have certain brands of brushes that I use a lot. Typically Refer, Wayne Goss, Esum, and now Blinged brushes. I think 90% of the reason why I use them is because they are the most gorgeous brushes I have ever seen but they come out with some really nice shapes and they are synthetic hair so I know I have a lot of followers that are conscious of not using natural hair brushes these are like the synthetic brushes that I use they have a lot of collections they did send these to me but you'll see in my previous videos over the last couple of months literally I've been using these I've been traveling with these so they have a few collections the first one being like the original kind of hand jeweled okay first of all take a moment like these are the best gift for somebody ever. They're absolutely stunning. They are hand jeweled. This collection, I believe, is currently sold out uh, with this type of hair, but this is the best collection to get, in my opinion. They're all kind of mixed up in my bin here, so excuse me for not being prepared. There's a couple more brushes, but just some really good solid face brushes are in here and eye brushes. In particular, though, I do like their face brushes. Also, with the same colored jewels, they have more of a pink top. One of my favorite brushes from them have been the F1. I use this for bronzer a lot. I use the F4 for blush a lot. You can't go wrong with any of these collections. And then also, like you can see how gross they are. They have this midnight star kind of collection where it's really dark hand jeweled ones. The brushes themselves in this collection are my favorite. Like I love the color of these handles better but I like the brushes in this Midnight Collection. I believe it's called the Starry Nights. The brushes in the Starry Nights Collection are better. Uh, this is like the F11 has been the bronzer brush that I've been using. The F14 has been the blush brush I've been using. The F17 has been the highlighter brush that I've been using. It works so beautifully, especially with extra metallic highlighters. Even though it's a very like dense brush, I it just applies that highlighter perfectly, but it's dense enough to really get in there and blend those harsh edges of the highlighter away. Like Oh my gosh, this is probably my most used brush. And you have all types of different brushes. There's too many for me to individually go over, but I've just been using these bling brushes a ton. The experience of using them is really fun for me because they're so beautiful and so just like extra, but also like the actual brushes themselves like are pretty pretty good been loving those all right so that is it as far as products go i do want to give a shout out to a new channel that i recently discovered my friend erin nicole tv she just collabed with patty patty alonzo i believe is how you say her last name so i came across patty's channel from my friend erin and oh my gosh patty you have the most beautiful eyes I have ever seen. You guys need to subscribe to her channel if you aren't. She works at Charlotte Tilbury, so she's very well versed in that brand in particular. And I know a lot of you guys love Charlotte Tilbury. And her and I seem to have very similar makeup tastes. And her makeup skills are 
absolutely incredible. So I'm pretty new to her channel, so I'm still just discovering her myself, but I've watched a few videos over the past few days and I've been absolutely loving her content. She's one of my new favorites to watch, so I will link her channel down below. Make sure you guys check her out. Make sure you tell her I sent her because if you're watching this, Patty, I've been loving your videos so much. You are so amazing. All right, that is all I have for today's video. Let me know what your top three favorite products for this month were. I'm very interested in hearing. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.